Okay, let's compare and contrast the two boys that are in Frosted Dreams litter. We named this litter after Native American tribes because of a Thanksgiving. And we had to include Wampanoag because it was the original Native American tribe that was actually involved in Thanksgiving itself. Um, the other names we chose because I thought they sounded kind of pretty. Um, so Lakota, very beautiful name. I would definitely say Lakota is breeder quality. He is much darker in his black color and because of that he's more contrasted. His rosettes are really well spaced. I love how the back, the rosettes are separating out, which is a quality that we breed for, but is ever increasingly rare with Bengals. Um, people who do not selectively breed and have a goal in mind, they usually end up with Bengals that have striping down the back instead of separated rosettes. So I think separated rosettes are definitely a, a sign of higher quality. After all, it is more rosettes and less striping. I mean, we're not trying to breed zebras here. So here is Wampanoag. He's lighter in color. He's uh, got to be pet quality. Um, he's not as contrasted because his his uh, rosettes are more gray. Um, he also has some tarnish down his back here, which means just a scotch of brown, but it's not very noticeable. He could easily grow out of it. Um, I would be surprised. I would probably say he's more than 50% likely to grow out of this because it's so minor. Um, on a one to five scale, I'd probably say it's like a one, the amount of tarnish. Um, Lakota has zero tarnish, which is pretty rare and quite gorgeous. I would say too often, um, silvers have tarnish. It's a very difficult color to breed. It is actually the most difficult color of all colors to breed for in, in uh, Bengals. And one of the ways that we try to breed a better quality silver is we use two silver parents. And so Frosted Dream and the father, Quicksilver, are both silver parents. And then we try to have it so that they're, the grandparents are also silver. So, you know, as many generations of silver breeding as you can. And even then, you can get a beautiful kitten like Lakota and you can still get um, Wampanoag out of it as well. So it's a very difficult color to breed and get right. So let's take a look. Here's Wampanoag. You can see where his, his rosettes are there. The white is still there. He's got a beautiful white color, but uh, it's just not as dark black. And uh, I would call that like a faded silver. So he's slightly tarnished faded silver. And there you go. Here's his other side. And here's the other brother. Come here, Lakota. Definitely breeder quality. He's chunky too. So really well spaced out rosettes. Nice white background. You get that. And then by the way, inside here, it will lighten up and become uh, donated rosettes like the father, Quicksilver. So beautiful face. Now you'll notice that the uh, whiskers are a little short and that's because he likes to uh, fight with the baby gate and the whiskers are just chopped off from the baby gate but they will grow back of course and that just means he's just a little rascal rascalian but again I love the fact that he's got these rosettes that are breaking up down the back there and all of his rosettes are really well spaced he's got a very minor rib bar right here which means a linear rosette right where the ribs are can't even notice it when the arms there most of the time it's so gorgeous I mean, he's only got it at one side, so I would say in, in no way does that detract from his overall quality. Everything else is going really well for him. <laughs> you little rascal. Wampanoag, meanwhile, has taken off and is playing around. We'll have to go fetch him. <laughs> 